Okay, we've talked a lot about quality systems in the past, so I won't beat this up too much. But what I like to see in a factory is that A, they have a written manual. Second is that as product flows through the factory from raw materials to finished goods, they have traceability. As you walk the factory, you should be able to pick up a component and the supplier should be able to say, yes, these employees worked on this item. The raw materials came from which sub-suppliers? They don't necessarily have to tell me which employees or which sub-suppliers, but I want to know at least they're tracking it. That way, if something goes wrong, we can isolate what went wrong and, and try to fix it. I like suppliers that um, find problems early rather than the old method that you see. You still see it across Asia, especially in, in areas where manufacturing is growing rapidly and they don't have a lot of experience. Uh, I had an Indian supplier. Product was going great. But then on one order, they had a lot of defects. And I said, let me come, I'll help you manage your supply chain. Let me take a look at the QC system. And they did all this work, and then they had one point of QC at the end of the production line where they basically threw away the defects and kept the good ones. And that's why their price was so high, is because they had a high defect rate. But more importantly, when it got to the end, if their defect rate was too high, it was too expensive for them to throw it away. So they're their way of doing business was to try to convince me why I should accept B-level goods. So I spent like 10 minutes with them. It sounds so obvious, but you know, having studied manufacturing, it was easier. And we said, all right, here's where you need to have your inspection points during raw material in process so that you catch the problems early, fix it, and then we don't have to debate about who pays for defects. Um, ISO system so important, but don't think that just because the um, product is made in an ISO system, it's safe. So ISO is the standard for how a factory should be run. What documentation is maintained? How do you train staff? But you could make a concrete life jacket in an ISO compliant factory. Jump in the water, it's not gonna save you. But that, that, that life jacket made of concrete was made according to ISO standards. So ISO has nothing to do with the quality of the product or the safety, safe, safe, is it safe or not? It has all to do with the system for making a product. So don't confuse ISO with quality.